Hey there, Louis Acabalas here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add a discussion board that you've already created to a page of a SharePoint online site. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest SharePoint online tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now unfortunately there is no out of the box way to add a discussion board web part to a SharePoint online page when working in this SharePoint online modern experience. Now to demonstrate this, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and click edit here on my page. And when you click edit, this is how you can actually come in and add and remove and rearrange elements on your SharePoint online page. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hover my cursor in between these elements and I'm gonna click this add new web part plus sign here. And what this does is this actually brings up the menu where you can come to add different elements to a SharePoint online modern page. Now, if you actually scroll through this list, you'll notice that there is no discussion board web part. And just to demonstrate this again, I'm going to type discussion and you're going to see that there are no results. Now, the reason for this is the discussion board web part is still a legacy component that works in the classic experience. Microsoft, for some reason, did not actually redevelop that web part to make it more modern like they did other web parts. So if you wanted to just add it to a page as if you would add a document library, for example, which you can see here in this menu, um, you're not able to do that. Now, there is a workaround that I'm going to show you that you can use to actually embed that web part on a page. It's not as clean as if you were just adding, again, one of these sort of pre-configured web parts, but if you really do need to have that discussion board displayed on a page, this might help you. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click out of here and I'm gonna discard my changes as I don't wanna save any of those edits that I made to this page. And for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to show you a discussion board that I have already created on this site. Now, if I scroll to the bottom of this list, you're going to see here training discussions. And when I click into this, you can see this is a discussion board. Now, very quickly, you'll notice here that the interface does not look like the SharePoint modern experience. So that's what I was talking about earlier in the tutorial, that this web part is, again, it was not redesigned for the SharePoint Online Modern Experience, which is likely why we can just add it like we can other apps. So you'll see here, it kind of looks like the older SharePoint experience. Now, the workaround that I'm going to show you is actually just embedding this discussion board web part through a custom embed web part, which allows you to actually paste in some code and it's going to just display this entire page on your SharePoint online page, wherever you wanna add it. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. All right, now the first thing that you need to do is navigate to your discussion board as I have done here on my screen and you want to copy and paste the URL or the link for that discussion board. So you're gonna to want to open a Word document or notepad and paste in the full string for the URL in this document. The next thing that you are going to do is you're gonna go ahead and click on the list tab and you wanna go ahead and click on list settings. And now what you need to do is you need to copy and paste the list ID. Now the list ID is this string that starts with the percent sign just after the equal sign after the word list. So you wanna just copy that list ID and you want to paste that in your Word doc or your notepad. Now, the next thing that you want to do is you want to go down to the description for this tutorial and you want to grab this code that I have included. Now, this is the code that we are actually going to embed on our SharePoint online page. And what we're going to do is we're actually gonna pipe in some values to point this code to that specific discussion board. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste this code here. Now, the first thing that you want to do is you want to copy the URL for your discussion board and you want to paste it in this part of the code. And specifically, you just want to replace this bold text 
the word discussion board up to URL. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure this is just the text only. And the next thing that you want to do is you want to take your list ID and you want to paste it into this code, replacing the list ID text. And that is what you want to do here. So we now have this custom embed code with the URL to our discussion board and the unique identifier. Next, you wanna go ahead and copy this code. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy it and we're going to now go back to SharePoint. Now, here you wanna go ahead and navigate back to the page that you actually want to add this discussion board to. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and add it to my home page here. And next, I'm going to click edit Again, the edit button is what allows you to actually come into the back end of this page, if you will, and this is where you can actually come to kind of rearrange the page, add uh, web parts, et cetera. Now, here you wanna go ahead and find the position where you want to add your discussion board. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to add it just under the top elements on this page. So you wanna go ahead and click this plus sign where you want to add it. And now in this menu, what you want to do is you wanna type embed and you wanna go ahead and click embed. And this is going to open up the embed menu. Now you wanna go ahead and take that code that we updated and paste it in this text box here. And what you're going to see now is that it is actually just embedding the page that that discussion board is hosted on right on this page that we have added it to. So you can see here that it's still showing the SharePoint logo. You can see the browse items and list tab, and you can kind of see the actual content in the discussion board. Now it's unfortunate with this method, you can also see the quick launch menu. So again, this isn't clean, um, but as I mentioned at the outset of the tutorial, unfortunately there is no other way to add the discussion board to the SharePoint online modern pages. And so if you really need to do it, this is just a workaround that you can play around with and um, accomplish that. Now, once you're ready to go ahead and publish this page, you can go ahead and click publish or republish if the page has already been published previously. So I'm gonna go ahead and click republish. And this is now going to make the changes visible to anybody that visits this page. And again, you can see here when I scroll down that I can actually see and interact with this discussion board. So if I click into an existing thread, what it's going to do is it's just going to reload that custom page that we embedded. It's not going to actually reload your entire browser page. And you can see here that it functions uh, just the way that it would if you were actually just navigating directly to the discussion board. So you can see here, I can actually post the response and that's going to go ahead and be displayed here as well. Now, if I wanted to get back to the main discussion thread, I can just go ahead and click on training discussions, the name of this board in the breadcrumb trail, and I'm back to this discussion board. Now, if I go ahead and click on new discussion, just for demonstration purposes, you can see here, I can go ahead and actually create those new discussions as if I was working directly in the discussion board. So again, this method, it's not clean, it's definitely not visually appealing, but it is a workaround that will allow you to actually add that discussion board to a modern SharePoint online page. So that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you a workaround that you can use to add a discussion board web part to a modern SharePoint online page. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest SharePoint online tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobalos. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.